Hello everybody, this is Julia from Just One More Card and I'm back with another video and I asked you guys on Instagram and on Facebook which video you wanted to see first and this one came out first. I was a little bit surprised. I didn't expect that, but I guess those cute foxes from Sugar Pea Designs? Adorable. I actually bought that stamp set last year, but I didn't have time to... Um, uh, to actually use it, so I'm so delighted that we're back to fall season where it's appropriate to use that one. I'm actually using my favorite things grout gray ink here to stamp it because I want to do no line coloring, so I don't want to have like intense black lines. And you can see I masked off the fox here because I wanted to stamp those leaves around him and I didn't uh, want those leaves to actually um, dirty up the actual image. You can see I have my polychromos color chart, I'll link to it, it's available on my blog for download, and that's just helpful to me to pick out the correct colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm also like, I'm also uh, in love with this Tegal uh, sharpener because you can see you have that wheel, and that wheel allows you to um, have different sharpening styles for your pencils, and I absolutely love that sharpener. It's it's inexpensive. I actually have to import it from the US because it's not available in Germany, but it's absolutely worth the money. It's like five bucks or something. Now for the coloring. Um, I'm coloring on craft because I just love the effect of something colorful on craft or even on black. Spoiler alert for future videos. And you can see that on my first layer I even held my pencils very far in the back to make sure that I didn't apply a lot of pressure. The first layer is usually always just so you can map out where the shadow area goes and where the highlight areas go. And uh, then you just build up um, the colors by uh, going over the areas over and over again, slightly increasing the pressure. If you increase the pressure too fast, you will just flatten out the, um, uh, the tooth of the paper, and then you won't be able to even add a lot of layers. So always be mindful that you start out with very little pressure and then gradually build up the color. It's not unusual to actually have to add three or four layers of color, so that's absolutely normal. You can see that I'm just progressing through the different coloring stages here, and of course I'm especially um, intrigued with adding the white. You can see that I even added a little bit of white between the ears and the legs, and that's just to um, differentiate like the one ear being in front of the other or the one leg being in front of the other. And I'm also, it's kind of hard to see because I had to speed this up, I actually colored this over the course of several days. Um, after the first layer, I'm usually using um, slight circular motions to color on top of uh, previous um, colored sections, because those slight, uh, those, those circular motions make sure that I get into all the crannies and nooks of the textured paper, and that I put enough color down. Um, this paper is actually not quite, I'm not sure which brand of paper that is, to be honest, I just found it somewhere um, in my stash. Um, and it's not perfect for colored pencils because it's not too sturdy, so I have to be careful that I don't damage the paper even. You can see that I'm just progressing through the stages here. It's very fun to do. It, it is time intensive, I won't lie. This definitely takes more time than doing copy coloring. But I just love how the colors look against the fox. Now, I continued the coloring three days later, and you can see that the grout gray ink did what I expected it to do. It faded away. Unfortunately, it faded away before I had the chance to actually color those leaves. So I have no idea what the actual shapes are for those leaves. So all, I'm, all I did was I kind of outlined them with different colors of my pen pencils, and then I'm just coloring in indistinct shapes. I mean, it's not too terrible, because everybody will know what it means when you're, once you're done. And I'm even, even adding a little bit of detail here, you know, like some veins for the leaves with my darkest color. Um, and I guess everybody will know what it's supposed to be. Now for the sentiment, I'm actually using my Delicata gold ink. It's a very, it's a very opaque um, gold ink. Uh, you see, I actually just had to stamp it once, but I just, because I could stamp it twice, um, I did. But it wouldn't even have been necessary, so I can absolutely recommend it. And I think the gold goes very nicely with the fall theme. And of course, I had to use some um, Nouveau drops here. You can see clear ones, gold ones, and bronze ones, because I also feel that it goes quite perfectly with the card design. So here's a close-up of the um, Daily Cutter Gold Ink. You can also see in the leaves those wane details that I added, um, and that hopefully make clear that those indistinct shapes are actually leaves. Here's a close-up of my fox. You can see that I added a few white highlights. Um, just to make sure that in the shadow areas, for example, the arm stands out against the, um, the sweater below. 
and here's a um, here's a pan across the entire card. So I hope you enjoyed this short coloring tutorial. I'm color the coloring is the same as I've always done. And if you want to see more coloring videos, you can check out these. If you like the video, please leave me a thumbs up or a nice comment or subscribe because I have some more videos in stock for you. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.